What is going on everyone? In the July development live stream, we got a brand new look at some gameplay showing us the basic gathering professions, along with more details on how this system works. So the video itself that you can see going on in the background is roughly 17 minutes long. About 5 of that is gathering that we are going to be going through. The remaining is the devs giving us an aerial view of the level 10 dungeon that has the dragon in it which we've seen before so I'm not going to talk much about that part of the video. A lot of the info we got about the professions we have heard before as well but the amount of new people looking at the game I'm going to go through it all whether it's new or not and give you the full idea of how gathering works in Ashes of creation. Gathering is one out of the three branches of the artisan tree in Ashes of Creation, the other two being processing and crafting. Obviously, gathering is going to be the most important one because it is all about gathering the resources that you need to process and craft. How it works is, as a gatherer, you will need certain tools to go out and gather, such as an axe for wood or a fishing pole for fish, and so on and so forth. Each tool can be crafted by the gatherer, starting out with fairly basic tools and being able to upgrade as you continue more into the gathering tree. But these tools aren't permanent. Each tool has a certain amount of uses and afterwards it disappears, requiring you to make a new one. Obviously, the higher level the tool, the more uses you can get out of it and the higher tier resources you can gather with that tool. Through the world of Vera, there are three different types of gatherables. The single use resource, such as herbs and wood that you find, collect and then it despawns and you have to look for the next one. So your basic MMO gathering, hunting down that certain resource. Then there is large static resources that have a certain amount resources within it that can be gathered out until it has gone away completely and spawns a new one someplace else. So multiple people could harvest from this one type of resource if it still contains enough. And the third one is mobile gatherables. The example given here is herds of animals that will wander through the world and need to be hunted down. All of these resources aren't categorized by the level of the zone, meaning low level herbs in low level zones and high level in higher level zones aren't going to be a thing. Zones don't even work like that in Ashes of Creation. Each region has a wide range of activities for all levels, and the closer to a developing node, the lower level the creatures will be. Resources are placed where they make sense. So if you need an herb that only grows in the snow, it will probably be found in the mountains or in the right season. It could be with high level creatures or it could be with low level creatures, and some regions won't have some resources at all, helping to boost the economy, having players transport these goods with caravans to get a higher profit out of them. Anyways, as we go through the video, we only see the single use resources, starting with a tree being chopped down. Keep in mind this is all pre-alpha and could change, but the tree is labeled as gatherable by the sparkling it does near the base of it. When you get close enough, it has the key you're supposed to hit light up for the player to click and then you begin chopping down the tree. When the tree is chopped down, it falls over and despawns and the wood is put into your inventory. But it appears that not every tree can be chopped down, only certain ones. Which in a way makes sense as you don't want to strip the world of all the trees completely, but this all depends on the spawn rates and all of this, so this could change further in development as well. We also see the collection of various herbs which seem to be sprinkled among the ground to no avail for the player to pick up in this current build. And that's about it for now. But we have in the past also seen fishing as well in the game, which will be another way of gathering. Other than that, that's it for this basic look. That's all they really showed in this video, but they did give a lot of pretty interesting information on this for those of you who are new to the game. What are your thoughts on gathering in Ashes of Creation? Let me know in the comments. And if you are new to Ashes at all and want to jump in on the forums or purchase some cosmetic bundles over on the website, feel free to use my referral link in the description below to sign up. Otherwise, be sure to click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, turn on the bell for notifications, and stay tuned for a lot more to come.